Hi there, Karen here from HubQuiz and another live screen recording. Um, the previous one I did, I showed you how to go from Zoom and live stream to Facebook. Um, and one of the questions was asked was, what about some tips on repurposing, for example, taking the Zoom recording and sharing that to YouTube um, so that you can promote it further? And I've set up quite a lot of um, YouTube channels for clients and I think people often get confused because they upload stuff to their personal account which is automatically created when you create a Google account. Um, so I'm just going to show you as well how to do that and just where to find it and set up a brand channel for your business. So I've got the Zoom meeting open here. So you literally you would just hit on record. I click on record on this computer and you'll see in the top left there it's now recording. At any time, you can pause that or stop that. But you won't see where it's been downloaded to anything until you actually end the meeting. So if I end the meeting now, end the meeting call, you'll see it will pop up with a window saying it's converting meeting recording. So if you've had a really long meeting, this, will, this can take quite a few minutes, maybe up to about 10 minutes. And then it generally saves into your documents and a folder called Zoom. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. It might be different if you're on a Mac, I'm on a PC, but you could choose where you want to save it as well. So we'll just go OK. OK, I'll close that down. So if I go now to my YouTube channel. So if you go into YouTube, this is probably what you'll see. If not, you just click on here and you click on your channel. And then it will bring up your own YouTube channel. Now, in order to create a brand channel, if you scroll down the left here and you click on settings and then click on add or manage your channels. So these are a whole lot I've set up before. Click on create a new channel. And then you can give it a name. Okay, and then literally you can upload a video here or you can choose the option to upload a video there. So if I want to now customize this, I can click on that. That'll take me to Google so I can actually change the logo um, or I can just click on customize there first and then you can edit from there and you can also edit the actual banner, the channel art. Uh, then you can add a channel description. So if we click on that, it'll tell you this is linked to a brand account. So it may take a few minutes to show, click on edit. So that now takes me through to the Google channel. I can upload a photo and change it. And then that will take, as I say, a little while for it to show up there. Same with the artwork, click on add. Add a photo and then adjust it. Okay, so if I want to now add a video to there, so I'll click on upload video. Select file. I go to my documents zoom folder. And then I select that video. And it might take a little while, but you can then put in a title, description, you can choose a thumbnail. You can create, if you've created any playlists, you can do that there, or you can actually create one. Um, choose all your settings. Next, there's various elements you can add, but I'm not going to go into that yet. And then you can obviously create it public if you want everyone to be able to see it and find it on Google or YouTube search. You can do it as unlisted, which means then you can share it to specific people. So only people who have that link will have it. And you can do the same. You can use that unlisted to embed a video on your website as well. Um, and private, obviously, 
that's not that much use, but it's only for you and people that you choose that can see that video. Um, and there's that link, which I can then copy and share with people. Another thing I just want to show you quickly, um, if we go back to the channel, if you want to add managers or anything to your brand channel, if you go and click on settings again, you've got the option there to add or remove managers. So if you click on that, you'll see here users, manage permissions. It will ask you sometimes to log in again. Let's go again. And, and then I can click on to invite new users at the email address. Usually it's a Gmail address unless they use G Suite and they log in with their business address. And then you can choose a role whether you want to make them an own manager or communications manager. And then obviously just click on invite. And that's it. They should then get a notification. And when they log in, they should be able to then go, they should be able to find a notification or get an email from you saying that they are now a manager or owner of this channel and they'll be able to go in and edit and upload things as well. Anyway, I'm not going to go into great detail about YouTube itself and all the different settings, um, but I could do that maybe in another video later on. But hopefully that's helpful. Um, do let me know if you've got any questions and hope to see you again soon.